Are you sick and tired of topping off your nano tank or just don't want to pay a hundred bucks for a stupid auto top off? Well today I can teach you guys how to make a completely free top off tank that can last you I'd say three to four days. I'm assuming if you're like me you don't want to spend I'd say fifty to hundred dollars for a auto top off off of any any store, you know, Amazon, Bulk Reef Supply, any like that. So I came up with the plan to make my own. So this one is I guess more suitable for nano tanks. And that is because I'm using a smaller tank, like container itself, to hold the RO water. So it's pretty simple. What I've done here is I've got like hot glue gun or um, silicone and kind of just got the bottom of this airline tubing and stuck it to the bottom. And then kind of brought it over and used one of these controllers to choose how much drip per second. So I use a siphon to start that. So in order to know how much to use and how not to, I guess, overflow your tank with fresh water, is I did a little math. So I use about 1.5 liters of water a day. So I was able to calculate how many drops of water per second I need in order to keep my tank at its correct salinity, not, ri not raise it too much and not let it drain too much. And I'd say that amount of water right there can last me, I'd say, about two to three days. And um, let me just give you a quick overview of my tank itself. I have two clownfish, one normal oscillaris, and one uh, what's called frostbite clownfish. I've got a few corals. I've got pallies, GSPs, frog spawn, and then i got a bubble tip anemone right there. And I also have like a DIY refugium right here with just a macroalgae using a, a marina breeder box. Just lets it flow through and get rid of my nitrates. This is my chiller, <laughs> it's just a fan. And it just blows air, keeps it right at 78 degrees, which is just where I'm at right now because it is hot during this time. I taste about 100 degrees outside, so. Um, so that's pretty much how you do it. Calculate the math. I'll, if you're still here watching this video, I appreciate it. And I'll just give you the tip of how I did the math itself. So first, calculate how much gallons of water you use per day. Okay. And then there's about 20,000. Well, actually, calculate how many liters of water you use a day. There's about 20,000 drips of water in every liter. So let's say you use about a liter of water a day. So you're going to have 20, you need 20,000 drops. There's about... 86,000 seconds per day. So pretty much just divide the how many drops of water you use per day by, so put that number on top, divided by 8,600, or 86,000, I'm sorry. 86,000 and you'll have the amount of drips. Just calculate it and you're good to go. And this is my reef tank, it's my first video. And um, comment below if it works. Leave a thumbs up. And thank you. Oh, and I kind of forgot. Um, please like and subscribe. And share this with others who might be broke and can't afford a auto top off. I'm out.